So as you guys can tell, I've had the opportunity to collect a number of different gaming controllers over the years, and I thought, hey, let's sit down and finally get a closer look at each one. Let's put them all into a video. So definitely leave a thumbs up down below if you're excited about seeing every single one of the controllers in this massive collection. The first two are your standard Xbox 360 controllers, the wireless versions in both white and the newer black version. I've also got the original wired controller, but that one's at home, so it won't make it into this video. This is a custom controller from Pro Mods, of course, once again for the Xbox 360, and this one is Black Ops 2 themed. They sent this to me along with a little bit of Unbox Therapy customization, including Unbox Therapy being written up on the bumpers on the bottom. As you can see here, you have the orange thumbsticks. You've got this nice paint job with the gradient from black all the way up to a nice silver. And they also sent me another custom controller in commemoration of my second channel, the Beast Feed. And this one's actually quite interesting. Here you can see that you've got the bullet shell buttons so a very unique look it's also got ps3's thumbsticks which some people like others don't but as you can see i got the wrong battery pack on there that's actually supposed to be associated with the controller i just showed you before this one and it has beast written on the side in gold to commemorate my second channel here on youtube the beast feed this is the Razer Onza Tournament Edition, which is, of course, not made by Microsoft. It's got slightly longer triggers, and some people actually really like this controller. It also comes with a really long cable. I believe it's 15 feet, and each of the two thumbsticks is adjustable. If you guys are interested in learning more information about this controller, because it is a little bit different, I will link it down in the description so you could check out pricing, availability, and full specs. The next one in the long lineup here is the Halo Limited Edition. Halo 4 controller. This came with the console. As you can see, now you've got the rotating D-pad, and it's got a translucent body, so you can actually see internally into some of the components here. One of my favorite controllers right there. Uh, this one is the Gears of War 3 Limited Edition or Special Edition, Collector's Edition, whatever you want to call it. This one also has the rotating D-pad, and this one shipped with the Special Gears of War 3 console, so it matches the console that's sitting on my desk right now. Next is the Modern Warfare 3 controller, once again, of the newer generation. It has all the same features as the last two I showed you. A slightly different paint job, and this also shipped along with the Modern Warfare 3 console with the same sort of paint scheme. Let's move down to the PlayStation controllers. This one is in red, your standard PS3 controller, though in this particular case, we've added some Pelican trigger extensions, and these are really one of my favorite things to use on PS3 because you get a much more satisfying grip on your triggers, and these are actually really cheap to pick up too. I will also link these down in the description. As you can see, you get four in a pack. I can't see the price on there right now, but anyways, definitely check out the link in the description. If you use PS3 and you play shooting, games, even driving games, these little removable uh, triggers or whatever you want to call them, trigger extensions are a blessing. So you should definitely try them out. They are removable. You know, you don't have to have them on there for every single game. They're easy to clip on and off. Next, we have the translucent blue PlayStation 3 controller. Something that's funny here is I actually don't have a standard black PlayStation controller here right now. Those are at home, so it's kind of funny that I had the other ones, but not that one. We have the wireless race wheel for the Xbox 360. This, of course, is going to be used through motion control. That's kind of a, a different addition to this lineup. The next controller is also unusual. This one's from Nyko, and if you guys didn't catch my unboxing video of this, you should definitely check it out because it took place at 30 or 40,000 feet. I actually unboxed this on an airplane. It was a fun video to make and I'll link that down below. That's actually for Android devices and Android tablets. It's pretty cool. Um, you've also got the touchpad slash keyboard that you can attach here to, in this case, a white PlayStation 3 controller. I've got two of those, and this one also has those triggers installed that I mentioned earlier, and as I said before, you can find out more about those down in the description. It also has an adapter on it for charging in the little base station that you saw in the early clips within this video. This is another custom job that was sort of picked up in a mall, I believe in Florida, if I remember correctly, and you can see here it's got crazy lighting and a bunch of sort of blood spatter on it so it's it's more of like a, a, a something to keep on display than necessarily one of my favorites but pretty cool to look at nonetheless 
Here we have some special additions to the PlayStation Vita, and these make a big difference for me. If you've got average to large size hands or you just play on this thing a lot, these really make it a lot easier to hold ergonomically and to play over you know extended periods for longer sessions it'll remap your shoulder buttons etc so it's, it's just really convenient if you have a, a playstation vita you should definitely check out the description because i will link those little adapters down below here is the newest addition to the entire lineup this of course is the nintendo wii u controller with the screen built in and something that's surprising here is that as big as this controller is it's surprisingly comfortable to hold but you can of course still get the classic controller for the nintendo wii u as you can see here and this one kind of reminds me of an xbox 360 controller but of course it's different because you've got your two thumbsticks at the same level instead of being offset so it's kind of somewhere between a playstation and xbox controller an honorable mention also goes to the PlayStation Move system. If you're not familiar with these, they kind of work like a Nintendo Wii controller. You get motion-based control for different active games within the PlayStation 3 universe. The last item we're going to look at is the Street Fighter 4 Tournament Edition Arcade Stick. This is for the Xbox 360 and... You can guess that this is going to give you that traditional style of input that you could have gotten many years ago on an arcade machine. Many competitive gamers still choose this kind of button layout when playing Street Fighter in a competitive manner. So if you ever go to like a competitive event where people are playing this game, you will probably bump into one of these arcade sticks. On the back, you have a couple more buttons for start and select, and there is this little door which houses your USB cable, which is fairly long, so you can sit back on your couch and use it. Anyway, guys, that wraps up the Ultimate Controller Collection, giving you guys a look at everything we've got in the office right now. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. Pricing and availability on all the things you saw are down in the description. I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.